Sustainability is a hot topic right now, and with good reason, Mother Earth. I'm here in a restaurant in Fremantle that have made it their key priorities. Let's check it out. Set in an original 1920s warehouse, the raw kitchen is centred around the ethos of healthy, sustainable living. It's a new type of venue where Emma and Heath have brought together a plant-based restaurant, a zero-waste store, a kombucha microbrewery and a yoga studio space. So I'm sitting here with Emma and Heath from the Royal Kitchen and you guys have been an institution for the last 10 years at least. How did it all start? Um, thanks Pete. Yeah, it, it started with us basically doing workshops and lectures and things like that and the demand was there. I'm a naturopath by trade, Emma was studying medicine, so we're interested in the health aspects and um, it, just, it just started to gather momentum. And from there into a cafe, and then we uh, evolved into a restaurant, which you see today, which is now uh, cooked food and everything, but progressive plant-based. So Emma, you know, I know as being a chef, cooking just with vegetables is really difficult. I've struggled over the years. How do you make it so good? Our focus is on using real, whole food, natural ingredients, and then we use them in creative ways. So we make cheeses that are made based with nuts and things like that, um, and we focus on creating delicious tastes and flavours and textures, just as delicious or exciting or palatable as any other type of food, but without the refined ingredients, without the animal products. It's about when you eat the food you feel good, it's nourishing your body and it makes you feel good after you've eaten as well as when you're eating it. The Raw Kitchen hosts Perth's largest plastic-free zone, zero waste store with a focus on providing beautiful sustainable alternatives to everyday plastics. This isn't just a fad for them, this is a way of life. Since day one for us, it's been a personal journey of, of caring about the planet, sustainability. So if we've been using glass straws, paper straws, no plastic, we've just kept that journey going. And it's a lifestyle. Well, the reason we serve the food we serve is because that's what we eat. These are the parameters that we eat within, we do it. And it's the same with the sustainability ethic. It's with all the little things that add together to make a difference. The way we repurpose things that we've got before they have the end of their life cycle. So we've been sitting here and enjoying this wonderful kombucha. Those bottles, do you make them here? We make all that here. We make a basic kombucha here, which is fermented tea. But then we, we brew down herbs and we try and make it as medicinal and, and as, as healthy as possible. It's a perfect complement to have with the, with the meal because it's a palate cleanser and it's bringing in the right microbes into your gut. So if you come to the raw kitchen, it's about the venue, it's about the menu, and you can be assured that we're trying to do things differently. I called in this place a few times for a green smoothie, thinking that that's about all it was, but after spending the day with Heath and Emma, my knowledge of plant-based food has really expanded and the food's tasty. I mean, I love vegetables and fruits, but I'll be back for sure.